Junction transistor. Uh, Unijunction transistor. Why we need to study means uh, there is a one unijunction transistor based oscillator circuit that we are using to generate a firing signals or generate triggering signal that is used to turn on the List. Before that, we will go through some characteristics of unijunction transistor. Unijunction transistor is even silicon device. Here, you will see some N type material here. This is N type silicon layer. Okay. So N type high resistivity silicon because it is a lightly doped. Okay, so N type materials and to this N type material, an aluminium rod is fixed. Okay, so this is aluminium uh, is acting like now P type material. Mm. So this N type silicon material fixed with aluminium rod so so this is a UJT okay these two are ohmic contacts okay right now don't worry about this this is uh, we are connected as supply sometimes in some most of the circuits in different way we will connect Okay, but in these dashed lines, what I am saying means, uh, okay, sometimes we will connect its supply in between base 2 and base 1, okay. The structure wise, um, this part is uh, our UGT, so this P type rod and uh, this N type layer, and this is 2 ohmic contacts, okay. So you can see here this is a symbol so this terminal is called as an emitter this is called as an emitter this is called as base 2 this is called as base 1 okay there are two terminals base 2 and base 1 mm -hmm. and this is emitter so this is a symbol of UJT emitter base 2 base 1 okay so this is another way you see aluminium rod a layer and two metal contacts, only contacts, base two and base one. Okay, we need to study the characteristic of silicon now. Okay, see if you consider this material here, this and this is emitter and this is base two and one. So this wherever this P A raw aluminium rod is allowed to this uh, N types silicon slab okay so here a pn junction is formed pn junction is formed because it is an n type material so it is acting like p so pn junction is formed so you can see so that's the reason one diode p uh, junction is existing here okay if i write an equivalent circuit of this okay here if you write like this emitter terminal a diode this diode is because this whenever this p is contacted with this entire material there is a junction so that junction so uh, there is a diode then the resistance of this part mm, to aluminium rod and uh, upper to that that i will call as rp2 rp2 resistance of base 2 and this 
total uh, layer resistance i will call as rp1 the upper the resistance offered by the silicon part we will call as rp2 resistance offered by this silicon part we will call as rp1 the junction is formed here it's uh, denoted using the yodes okay so this is an equivalent circuit of uh, ugt it is just two resistors in between one diode two resistors one in between one diodes okay next we will study tire study uh, one by one here also as shown this is an equivalent circuit rb2 and rp1 i'll tell you okay usually rb2 is we say fixed and rb1 will say variable why it is i'll tell you later okay see now we need to understand the working of uh, ugt so by chance see here on what so uh, you keep this in mind okay so the characteristic of ugt is like this when this when there is no current coming from this semitar what is the meaning if i talk here if there is no current coming from the emitter means this diode is in off state diode is in off state hmm? so the the resistance offered by this lower layer is very high very high and as well as this also okay you can see that here onwards i will use one term called as an interbase resistance what is an interbase resistance the resistance offered by this lower part rb1 plus resistance are offered by rb offered offered by this upper part okay that i will call as rb2 rbb means resistance offered in between these two terminals base 2 and base 1 is uh, resistance offered by base 2 and base 1 is rbb rbb so rbb i will here on also will call as an interbase resistance okay so this interbase resistance is very high sometimes and its value will change to very small value in some other situations okay here on also we need to think that this interbase resistance can take different values depending on the whether current is coming from a meter to here or not okay we'll talk to that later now so whether depending on whether this diode is forward biased or not okay assume that here i will connect a voltage source here if you connect listen here okay you can now you consider that this is a ugt base 2 is connected to assume that some voltage source base 1 is connected to this voltage source in this situation in this situation the resistance offered by this device this silicon layer is in terms of kilo ohms for an example it may be 5 kilo 7 kilo ohms or 10 kilo ohms like that resistance offered by this maybe either 5 kilo ohms 7 kilo ohm 10 second very high in terms of kilo ohms it is in terms of kilo ohms if you give some 10 volts here 10 kilo ohm is there so many amps of current is flowing correct 0.1 milliamps or uh, sorry 1 milliamps of current is flow so if you give five still less okay one thing we need to remember if you are just connecting a voltage source to here and here and if you keep this open what happens yeah there is a current flow but the resistance offered by this silicon layer is very high because it is lightly doped silicon so uh, construction wise the resistance of this is very high it is in terms of 10 kilo ohm for an example assume that it is 10 kilo ohm okay 
now by chance if you connect a voltage source here like this like this so where we connected voltage source voltage source we have connected in between emitter and base one okay we'll call this as v e okay v e e something i will call no so we call as v e whatever you can call using that some voltage source is there here Assume that this variable option is there, I can vary this. If you make it less than 0.1, uh, sorry, you, you keep this from 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 like that. In all the cases, what happens? There is a diode here, PN junction. Minimum more than uh, uh, some voltage is required to forward bias this. Correct? Some voltage is required to forward bias this. My next question is, how much voltage is required to forward by us this diode? Remember, there is a diode here and there is a, there is a resistance, correct no? Because resistance is offered by this layer. Okay, we'll go to next page. So far I told you, this UJT I can redraw like this, correct? This is an equivalent circuit of this. This P layer, P rod and uh, N layer, wherever uh, junction is formed, here junction is formed, so it is denoted using this diode, okay, and the resistance offered by this is denoted here, the resistance offered by this is denoted here, okay, what I am doing here, as I told you, base 2 and base 1 is connected to some voltage, so for an example, I have connected some 10 volts battery here, connected 10 volt battery 10 volt battery whatever it may be okay then here also I have connected some voltage source okay assume that I will call as a VEE -E. Whatever voltage you are applied here, it is uh, applied to emitter terminal, correct? Emitter and base, emitter terminal. If you vary this, what happens that we need to understand. Okay. Assume that I will apply 0.1 volts. Whether current will flow here? No. 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.7. If I make it more than 0.7, whether current flows here in this circuit, what is the voltage in this circuit? Assume that there is a voltage source here and there is a resistance here and this, this resistance value is very high. Assume that this resistance value is uh, very high. For an example, you assume that it is 5k. If it is 5k here, 5k. Can you tell me what is the voltage available here? And we have studied that the diode is forward by us if the potential difference between anode to cathode is more than 0.7. Correct or not? Means the potential difference between anode and cathode. Here cathode is not connected to ground. Cathode is connected to somewhere. There is a resistance here. So try to understand that even if you connect, apply a voltage more than 0 0.7, current won't flow because this is 0 0.7, correct, okay. But what about this? We need to understand because uh, till uh, before 0 0.7, for an example, before 0 0.7, assume that this is in off state only, right now in off state. Assume that there is no current. But 10 volt is there, assume that, okay, this resistance is there, assume that some 2, 2k resistance this is, okay. Okay, shall I assume that for simplicity, assume that I will uh, make it uh, this as uh, 8k, uh, this uh, this is 7k, and this I will make it 3k. Okay, so totally 10k resistances. I assume that like that. 
टेन के टेन वोल्ट डिवाइडेड बाई टेन के टेन टेन के आंसर वन मिली एम्स ऑफ करंट इज वन मिली इन टू वट इज द रेसिस्टेंस वोल्टेज ड्रॉप अक्रॉस दिस वट इज द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस रेसिस्टेंस आर बी वन सो सेवन के सेवन के सेवन के इंटू सेवन के इंटू वट इज द रेसिस्टेंस करेंट फ्लोइंग हियर टेन डिवाइडेड बाई टेन के वट इज दैट आई सेट टेन डिव टेन टेन के आंसर वन मिली वन मिली सो वन मिली सी मिली किलो कैंसल्स सो देन वॉट इज द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप एक्रॉस दिस दैट इज सेवन वोल्ट so here is point assume that we have applied point seven so this end potential if you calculate the potential difference between anode and cathode this end is point seven point seven minus this end is seven correct no this what is the voltage across this seven k into one milli that is seven volt so point seven minus seven what is that minus point six three voltage is the voltage which is applied to anode and cathode in this setup so whether whether this will allow the uh, diode to forward bias no diode is still in reverse bias at condition so even if we apply more than 0.7 this diode will not turn on okay then what is the next if i uh, by you can understand this this is this side 7 volt is there this side okay if you apply 1 1 7 6 volt 6 One minus seven minus six volt is applied to an this diode. It will not forward bias. If you make it three three minus seven minus four. If you make it seven here seven minus seven zero. That is not enough to turn on uh, forward bias this diode. Then if you make it seven point seven. Hmm. If you assume that the drop of this is point uh, volt potential. Uh, Uh, barrier potential of this is 0.7. If you assume that, then 7.7 minus 7 is enough to forward bias this. Okay, so don't uh, don't uh, think that always a 7 volt. This is depend on EGT, maybe 0.5 or something. Uh, but we need to understand that there is a uh, some barrier potential uh, available. in a junction where is a, this junction effect is there barrier potential is also there where wherever aluminum rod is connected to silicon slab okay if i assume that there is a barrier potential value is a 0.7 then so minimum this diode is forward biased only if my this voltage applied voltage is more than 7.7 for an example if i apply 7.8 7.8 then yeah correct no its current will flow so it should be more than this hmm? i think now you understood if in this setup if i wants to forward bias this diode what is the minimum voltage i should apply here it should what is a principle diode will forward bias all this is always when if anode to cathode is more than 0.7 means anode voltage minus cathode voltage is more than 0.7 minus so here it is 7.8 and this is 7 so okay in that cases means to forward bias this i should get i should apply more than 7.7 voltage here okay now you assume that i have applied 7.7 or 7.8 yeah what happens current will start flowing in this current will start flowing in this i'll come back to my silicon part okay shall i shall i go to my this diagram see here there is a resistance correct assume that i have here i have applied 7.8 7.8 so if i am applying 7.8 then what happens uh, um, here 7 volt drop is there 7 volt drop is there here okay Seven volt drop is there, so but it is more than uh, now. Uh, if it is more than 0.7, uh, this diode will forward bias. No, this junction diode will forward bias. Current will flow in this in this way. What is the meaning of current flow? The carrier is injected in this. Correct? No. What is the P-type material? So holes are injected here. 
so what i can say that the current is flowing here means a class madta idna hello so current is flowing here means current is flowing here means carrier is injected to the injected to this layer carrier is injected to this layer carrier is injected to this layer if once carrier is injected holes are injected here what happens here the total number of carrier in this silicon layer will increase the number of charge carrier in this will increase means the conductivity of this layer will increase or else i can say that resistance of this layer will reduce resistance of this layer will reduce okay so what happens here if you <coughs> forward <coughs> If you forward by us this diode, <coughs> this resistance, mainly this resistance. Actually, we say total interface resistance, but mainly this. The in this resistance value earlier it was I told it is if we assume that it is in seven k. Now it will reduce to ohms like fifty ohms. <coughs> 50 ohms <coughs> what i am saying when if you are injecting carriers to the base layers from emitter in ugt <coughs> this base layer resistivity will reduce us conductivity increases so resistivity will reduce in such a way that the resistivity will change to ohms like 50 ohms the resistivity was in kilo ohm like 7 kilo ohm when this current is zero when the current starts flowing here the resistivity will reduce us to ohms this is a principle or uh, behavior of ugt okay so that is the reason this lower resistance r b1 i will show as a variable resistance why the resistance will change based on the number of carriers which are injected from this emitter to base if the emitter current is zero or the number of carrier injected to this layer is zero this resistance is in terms of kilo ohm if current star if this emitter is injecting the carriers to base if the emitter current is more than zero then this resistance will reduce us drastically and the this will act uh, conductivity of this material then increases resistance wins will reduce us to 50 ohms or 10 ohms in that ranges i think uh, now we understood little bit about ugt ugt <coughs> okay so this sometimes we show this ugt like this also this two base one and emitter this is p type material okay <coughs> so now okay now we need to continue this characteristics of uh, ugt <coughs> see assume that we need to we are doing an experiment like this hmm? so we have a uh, connected a voltage source like this 10 volts and we have connected a voltage source like this and initially i have made it zero assume that i will start from zero so 
I will start from 0. Here I will make it 0. And I will gradually increase. And I will measure this emitter current, the current which is flowing here. This I will measure. Okay, emitter current. And uh, <coughs> emitter voltage, the voltage in between this. if you measure an emitter voltage here you connect some voltmeter somewhere here and uh, measure ok so if you have to measure an emitter current you measure a connect an emitter here emitter here somewhere here so this side plus and this side minus here emitter and here voltmeter ok now I'm assuming that I'm doing any characteristics <coughs> ok you just change uh, this value starting from 0 ok you plot emitter and emitter current and emitter voltage assume that this is an origin 0 we are increasing uh, the VE so we need to in if you increase this uh, voltage source value automatically the potential in between uh, this emitter and uh, base 2 we call as MV will increase correct we are increasing the potential in between emitter and base 2 and I will denote just like PE hmm. so I am increasing I am increasing from 0 ok 0 0.7 0 0.6 like this so as I told already, for all these values, for lower values, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 9, what happens? In that cases, this diode is not forward biased. We studied that already. To forward bias this, for an example, this setup, I require more than 70 because I should have a potential. It should overcome this drop and as well as this drop. If so drop across this diode and drop across this diode total sum if the voltage applied is more than them, that then only current will flow until that this diode is in off state only this diode is in off state we are varying from 0 and increasing 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1, 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.5, 1.6 like this in all these cases we are measuring the voltage here and current which is flowing what is the current it is flowing it is zero strictly speaking but even though if uh, the diode is not forward by a minority current will flow correct no so p type material will have some minority carriers n type material will have some uh, n type material will, will have holes as minority carriers those leakage currents or minority current flows even in all the uh, diode even diode if even if diode if you are not forward by us also that leakage current will continue to flow. Mm -hmm. So this leakage current, yeah, here in this uh, has shown little bit high, but it is like this almost. This small leakage current flows. So, okay. So for all, you just think about like this. Better to draw in this. This leakage current flows. Mm -hmm. It is very small. It is in terms of microamps. For all smaller values of V. V is smaller than this drop plus this drop. Okay. Assume that if you increase this uh, voltage like this, I am increasing the voltage, correct? Increasing the voltage. And uh, if you measure in voltmeter, same value it shows, correct? No? Yes. The current is in terms of microamps, microamps, microamps. Then, okay, what happens? Assume that this voltage, hmm? is enough to overcome these two drops hmm? means for an example if it is more than 7 point it is 7.8 for an example what happens current will start flowing here like this one so if you increase that voltage so 
now what happens if you we are increasing current will change like this current has changed from negative to uh, river uh, earlier uh, li reverse leakage current was flowing now actual small current will start why this diode is now forward by RZ as soon as it diode is forward by RZ carrier is flowing towards this so now the resistance offered by this layer V1 will change it will start reducing earlier it was high it will reducing when the when this resistance will reduces yeah, some current will increase now current will increase 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 so you can see here what is the current axis this is the current axis this is the current axis so this this current this current is more than this 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 current axis current axis. current will increase current will increase current will increase okay still current increases this is y axis by current increases 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 okay current will increase so you just come to this current will increase so what i'm saying why current is increasing so listen here we are increasing this v the resistance of this will reduce here onwards okay two things we need to understand so once scr turned on current will increase you should ask one question sir what is why this graph is changing like this why it is not like diode forward characteristics in a diode forward characteristics what is the thing so if uh, if you are uh, if you are if you are increasing a voltage what happens current will increase in this way correct no yes why here see here there are two things happens here yeah diode is forward by as current will start flowing one different extra feature here is the resistance of this layer will start reducing here onwards we'll call as negative resistance region so this resistance will change from kilo ohms to ohms kilo ohms to ohms so, so when more and more electrons are emitting from here so that's a reason current will yeah see here the current at this we need to think about uh, y axis in all this this is what something some current y axis y, uh, sorry this is not y axis we call as x axis x axis so here current is in x axis so this cor coordinate this see, this cor corresponding current this is a corresponding current and next time corresponding current is this this value is more than this next time this is a corresponding current this value is more than previous then this is a corresponding current this is more than this this is more than that okay current will increase you just think that current will increase and one more thing the resistance of this will reduce us that's resistance that's a region i will that's the reason i will call this as a negative resistance region negative resistance region means where the resistance will is reducing is in a reducing format now <coughs> so if you carefully check the emitter voltage if you carefully check the voltage drop across uh, voltage if you we have connected on voltmeter here it is showing you a value what is that the emitter voltage correct so if you think that emitter voltage now this is uh, turned on so the current is flowing so mainly yeah some drop is a small so drop 0.7 and this resistance into the current whatever flowing that is the value it's showing you but still even though current is increasing resistance is decreasing that's the reason the product will decrease resistance will reduce to very small value it's a reason product will 
uh, decrease. So what is what's happening here? You can see VE is somewhere here high. Hmm? So for an example, earlier it was seven point uh, something. Correct? We have applied uh, something seven point eight. So seven point eight was there in between this seven point eight means. 0.7 drop was there, 7.1 voltage drop is there here. 7.1 voltage drop is there here. But now what happens? The resistance of this has reduced. So the emitter voltage, the voltage in between emitter and this base 2 hmm, will reduce. The emitter voltage will reduce. See, if you think this value, this is a value. Next value corresponding, this is a value. So it is less than this, correct? So next value is this, next value is this, so this is also less, next value is this, next value is this. So emitter voltage also will reduce this. When it starts, once the applied voltage crosses this uh, value, here on one I will call it as peak point. I will call it as peak point. Means the applied voltage is crossing the peak point, crossing the peak point, then the base 2 of UJT, base 1 of an RB1 of a UJT starts reducing, it will enter into negative resistance region. So, emitter voltage will reduces, 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 emitter to base 2, hmm? emitter to base 2, it reduces, reduces, reduces. Once it reaches to this point, we will call here on as valley point, what happens? Here on ours, the resistance of this will not change. Assume that earlier it was that 7k, it has changed to 50 ohms, here onwards it won't change. It will remain as 50 ohms. Whatever may be the current coming from the semitor end. So it will remain as 50 ohms. So that point where it, uh, that, that point is called as value point. Okay, assume that it is uh, 50 ohms. And then what is C? 10 divided by assume the total resistance as this also will change now this also actually we are not because it's uh, it is very small uh, compared to this and uh, it's this is uh, this feature is more so total resistance you consider as uh, something around uh, 70 ohm 10 volt divided by 70 ohm into 50 ohm that is a drop across this drop across this. So I will do it. What is that? So so ten volt divided by will the approximately will consider as seventy ohms into assume that 50 ohms seven ohms okay. so the resistance of this has reduced so now, once it reaches to some constant value like 50 ohms, here onwards, when you change the, uh, if you are applying more emitter voltage, what happens? This won't change. This is already forward by us. Current will increase, current will increase, current will increase. But you can see here, once this is, a, we call here onwards a saturation region. Saturation region means? The region where the RB1 or interbase don't consider no need to consider more than RB1 only 
you just think that interbase resistance total interbase resistance uh, is constant here in the saturation region interbase resistance is constant in the negative resistance region interbase resistance will reduce interbase resistance will reduce interbase resistance is sum of rb2 and rb1 the interbase resistance will uh, be is constant so if you are increasing the voltage here what should happen the current should increase correct no because uh, this is 0.7 drop is there okay no problem so applied voltage minus 0.7 uh, divided by this resistance this resistance because of that usual uh, resistance uh, current will increase 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 but you can see here in here onwards the what about voltage the voltage v v also there is a little increase in v little increase in v it is unlike negative resistance region in the resistance region v reduces here v increases this is here onwards it is just like a diode characteristics with small resistance with small resistance forward uh, diode forward uh, bias diode with small resistance how it acts similar behavior Okay, so here onwards it is just like a diode characteristics. Okay, this point I will call as valley point, valley point. Okay, and this point I will call as peak point. When the applied voltage is more than the peak point, then this high resistance will start reducing. So negative resistance region will start, and once it reduces to uh, value like 50 ohms. later onwards it won't change and that point is called as valley point and there there onwards the region we will call as saturation region and there onwards the diode will act like a forward bias that vjt uh, this emitter and this circuit is acting like and uh, the emitter current will just increase okay no <laughs> we need to think that okay this is the characteristic of vjt vjt has a three terminals called emitter base 1 base 2 base 1 and base 2 is its characteristic of ordinary resistance resistance is an interbase resistance interbase resistance values in the range of few ohms to kilo ohms because few ohms when it is a uh, diode is on when it is in kilo ohms when diode is in off a slab of uh, lightly doped these are all we have explained mm -hmm. so one thing uh, we need to understand that a pn junction of device is formed at the boundary of the aluminum rod and n type silicon slab The aluminium rod is alloyed to silicon slab at a point closer to base two contact than base one. You can see here. <laughs> This uh, rod is a uh, little nearer to base two compared to base one. The base two terminal is made positive with respect to base one terminal. Always, uh, when you are connecting, you connect positive supply to this base two, negative to base one. In fact, for a representative unijunction transistor, R B M F is from 5 kilo ohms to 50 ohm for a corresponding change of I 0 to 50 microns. Means when I emitter current is zero, assume that uh, it is of uh, interbase resistance or it is here only shown R B one. R B one is offering 5 kilo ohm resistance. When the emitter current is changing to 50 microns, hmm, the R B one vary to 50 ohms. interbase resistance or rbb the resistance of the device between terminal b1 and b2 rbb is rb1 plus rb2 okay next class we will study using this ujt how to construct a ujt based oscillator mm -hmm. that is mainly used for firing pulse generation purpose